In the last episode, we talked about the coming of Jesus Christ and how the old and young will have dreams and prophesy. In this episode, we will be talking about Samuel and Saul. Turn with me to 1 Samuel chapter 28 verse 8. So Saul disguised himself, putting on other clothes. And at night, he and two men went to the woman. Consult a spirit for me, he said, and bring up for me the one I name. The woman asked, Whom shall I bring for you? Bring up Samuel, he said. The king said to her, Do not be afraid. What do you see? The woman said, I see a ghostly figure coming up out of the earth. So then begs the question, Why is the ghostly figure coming up out of the earth? Verse 14 says, What does he look like? He asked. An old man wearing a robe is coming up, she said. Then Saul knew it was Samuel, and he bowed down and prostrated himself with his face to the ground. Samuel said to Saul, Why have you disturbed me by bringing me up? I am in great distress, Saul said. The Philistines are fighting against me, and God has departed from me. He no longer answers me. Either the prophets are by dreams, so I have called on you to tell me what to do. Samuel responds to him in verse 19. The Lord will deliver both Israel and you into the hands of the Philistines. And tomorrow, you and your sons will be with me. The Lord will also give the army of Israel into the hands of the Philistines. Immediately, Saul fell full length on the ground, filled with fear because of Samuel's words. His strength was gone, for he had eaten nothing all day and all night. So now, let's fast forward. To chapter 31 of Samuel verse 6 so Saul and his three sons and his armor bearer and all his men died together that same day so you tell me how is it that Samuel was able to prophesy even in death after being disturbed by Saul And as we just read, his prophecy was extremely accurate. So let this be a lesson then. On to the next 